Welcome to Lunchbox Sessions, bite-sized industrial training. Hello, it's Carl here from lunchboxsessions.com. Can meter in flow control and the meter out method of flow control both be used together on the same hydraulic cylinder? While not typical, it does work very well for these slow-moving hydraulic cylinders that are vertically oriented and working against a heavy load. Both flow controls must be plumbed in series for this to work and on the same port. The base and port of the hydraulic cylinder is the natural choice for this particular application. What we see now is meter out flow control where oil coming out of the cylinder bypasses the upper flow control through the check valve and is metered by the lower flow control. When we go into the extend position, oil coming from the B port on the directional valve bypasses the lower flow control and is metered on its way into the cylinder by the upper flow control. For more information on the exact nature of meter in and meter out flow control and why the orientation of the check valves is very important, feel free to view a video of ours by the title meter in versus meter out flow control. And just to finish off here, my question for you this week is why do we have two separate flow controls to achieve speed control for this cylinder? Could we not have achieved what we want by having just a single adjustable orifice on this lower cylinder line and getting rid of the check valves? What if we had just a very basic needle valve? Would that not be sufficient for meter in and meter out flow control for these cylinders? Feel free to answer that question below the video and send any other questions as well. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. We have hundreds of interactive resources like this live schematic, so you can try out your wild ideas without blowing anything up. Get started at lunchboxsessions.com.